my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so excited to make this video. Oh my god, dude, patron. Andy Pandy cosplay. Oh my god, Andy Pandy. So about a year and a half ago, I made this video. I'm engaged, I'm engaged, I'm engaged, I'm engaged. And then... Crickets. You may be wondering... What the heck happened? Is she still engaged? Yep. Did she already get married in a super top secret wedding operation? No. If moves are made, I will 100% tell you guys about it because I'm so, so, so excited. Obviously, I cannot keep it to myself. I'm so excited. So here's the thing. Here's why you guys haven't heard anything. Weddings are fluffing expensive. They're so expensive, you guys. I had no idea how expensive they actually were. So for the last year and a half, we have been saving little bitties here and there wherever we could, trying to save up. And that is where we are today. Moves are being made and I'm here to tell you about it. But wait, before we jump straight into wedding stuff, like this wedding dress, first, a word from our sponsors. They has finally come. The sponsorship that you guys have been asking for. We love thrifted stuff and in the spirit of secondhand, this video is sponsored by Poshmark. Hey, Alexis Poshmark is officially happening, which means you can finally shop my closet. I know you guys have been asking forever, the time is now. And for those of you who maybe don't know what Poshmark is, it's literally the best. It's like thrifting, but it's online, so you can still get the same kind of really great steals, but you don't even have to get dressed. You never have to leave your house. You don't have to talk to anyone. It's like pants? Why? Poshmark is like a no pants required <laughs> thrifting experience. The dream. But it's not just about finding long lost treasures, but it's also about making that Money, girl. I've been off opening a Poshmark for so long, um, mostly for two reasons. One is that I am an insufferable hoarder who loves my clothes too much. But two, I honestly thought it was gonna be a huge pain in the ass. But I stand corrected. I was shocked. Not in like a clickbaity thumbnail kind of way. I'm honestly truly surprised how easy it was to get like old clothes that I'm not wearing anymore, listed, sold, and shipped. How, you ask? Q montage. my old clothes. Okay, happy thrifty thrifty. We're heading back to wedding town. Oh, babe, I have some news for you. Okay, thanks Poshmark. All right. So I am gonna kind of tell a little bit of wedding updates, story time, that kind of stuff at the beginning of the video here because I know that I have some subscribers that are gonna be super interested in what's going on with the wedding. It's happening. But I also know that there are probably some people here who just want to see the secondhand wedding dress try on haul. So I will drop a time code right here to when the dress stuff starts. But for now, I gotta tell you the updates. I'm so excited, so excited. Right, so, so excited. <sighs> okay, over the last like maybe two months or so, B and I have been looking at wedding venues. We saw like probably like six or seven venues all over North Carolina, like <laughs> mountains to coast. And nearly all of the venues were like absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful spaces. But they were just that, just a pretty place to get married. We needed somewhere that was gonna be us. And boy, oh boy, we found it. <laughs> and we have. <laughs> the date of the wedding. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So anyone who has been around on my channel for like a fair amount of time, 
time will know there are really like two main sides to me. One, there is like the bubblegum Disney princess pastel like little baby angel. And then there's this. different things, but that's me. Take it or leave it, that's me. And even though you guys mostly see the Disney princess version of me, I would say those two sides are like equal. I am a spooky creep 50% of the time. <laughs> so I knew that I wanted the wedding to either be like fairy tale princess wedding or, or what we landed on. Back to the big reveal. Our wedding date is October 31st, <laughs> Halloween 2020, so Halloween next year is my wedding day. <laughs> ah, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. And, okay, wait, so the venue, the venue looks like the hotel from The Shining. It looks like the Overlook Hotel. It is spooky and weird, probably definitely haunted. It's like quirky, it's old, but it's also beautiful. So it's like a beautiful wedding venue and also a spooky haunted Halloween wedding. <laughs> Pumpkins everywhere. I wish it was tomorrow, I'm so excited. And the rehearsal dinner, the rehearsal dinner is a costume party. This is the one weekend that I can force all of my interests onto everyone I care about. <laughs> we're having a costume party, we're having a bonfire, we're having a haunted spooky wedding, and I'm so excited. So now, now that the big thing is like out of the way, we have our venue, we have our date, we have our food, we have our alcohol. So now we can start doing all of the fun wedding planning stuff like trying on dresses, making DIY Hello wedding decorations, <laughs> invitations, all of that kind of stuff, all of the crafty stuff, all of the fashion stuff, all of the stuff that I love and care about, it is now that time. So if there is wedding related content that you guys want to see, drop it in the comments. I'm like so ready to make all of the wedding videos in the world. We're in wedding mode right now, so I'm like ready, 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 let's do it. <laughs> okay. Whew. Hey Skippers, welcome back. Weddings are absurdly expensive. It's gross how expensive they are. It's terrible. And I am someone who is super frugal, super DIY, I hate spending money, so booking the venue was like, ugh, to me. And now I'm like, okay, where can we save some money? Enter secondhand wedding dresses. Wedding dresses can be wildly expensive, but they don't have to be. I've seen enough wish wedding dress hauls to know that your money is not often rewarded <laughs> when it comes to style, fit, and quality of wish wedding dresses, but the price is right. So how do you get quality, beautiful wedding gowns at wish prices? Second hands. <laughs> I mean, most of these dresses have really only been worn one time, and you can save hundreds and hundreds of dollars by getting them second hand. And they're gorgeous. Doesn't matter to me if it's been worn before. I love thrift clothes. So I have four different wedding dresses here, all from different sort of secondhand sources. I have a thrift store dress, I have a Craigslist dress, I have a Facebook marketplace dress, and I have a hand-me-down free dress. So I'm gonna go ahead and try them on. I'm gonna tell you what I like about them, what I don't like about them, how much they cost, where I got them, what I would change about them, everything. I'm gonna give you the scoop right now <laughs> and see if we can find the perfect dress in our secondhand wedding dress haul. Let's do it! Let's try on some dresses. Here. <laughs> Here is our first dress. Oh, I went ahead and switched into a pink wig because I feel like it's just gonna be closer to what my hair will actually look like on my wedding day. What do you think? Okay, so this dress is a David's bridal dress. I got it at a thrift store here for $25. So obviously there are things about this dress that are not perfect for me. Main thing being, it's too short. It's too short for my tall giraffe body. <laughs> but one of the things that I want to kind of drive home with the secondhand wedding dresses is that when the dress itself 
is so cheap. I feel so much more comfortable making the call to make some like crazy alterations. To like take stuff off, add things on, chop it up, add sleeves, I don't know. <laughs> to make the dress perfect for myself, like to customize it as much as I want. If I was spending hundreds or even thousands of dollars on a brand new wedding dress, I would want it to be like the dress, like perfect as is, maybe just a little bit of sizing or something, but I probably wouldn't want to be like slicing and dicing, you know what I mean? <laughs> but this dress, it was $25, so there's a lot more room both in the budget and also like in the comfort of my heart <laughs> to like fully customize a gown like this. Does that make sense? Do you know what I mean? So this dress, for example, I really like the top of this dress. I love this like swoopy part here. I like the bedazzles all around here, but the bottom half is both too short and it's also, it's kind of plain for me. You guys know me, you know. <laughs> There's just not like a whole lot going on down here. So what I would do if this $25 David's Bridal thrift store wedding dress was my wedding dress, what I would do is I would cut some more length off of this and make it into a T-length dress, which is about like, there. It's already like so much cuter and you can wear some like banging shoes with this, some like accent piece that would be like boom. I've actually already seen so many shoes like on my feed since booking our Halloween wedding date that I've been like I want that to be my wedding shoe. <laughs> if you guys want me to do a video of trying to decide what my wedding shoes are gonna be because like you guys know I'm not doing like normal wedding shoes. That's not my style. <laughs> Maybe I could like buy all of them, <laughs> all the ones I want, and we can decide together. I don't know, different, different video, different topic. Today we're talking dresses. Anyway, I would cut this into a T-length dress, wear some like accent piece shoes. One of my friends wore a T-length dress to her wedding and it was stunning gorgeous. I'm gonna pop up a picture here, this is Brittany. Say hi Brittany, hi. <laughs> and I had never really considered a T-length dress until I saw Britney's dress and it looks so pretty So that is definitely the route that I would take this dress since it is already too short for me And I would also like make it floofier I, <laughs> I want a poofy dress like a little princess dress and as it is right now It's just kind of like flat and straight. So if it had like these kind of like uh, I don't know not pleats. I don't know what these are called <laughs> where it's a little bit like ripply that already would make this so much better. So I would reconstruct a little bit of the bottom down here. I would try to make it a little more like dynamic. Like, can you imagine dancing in this little like short tea dress? <laughs> I'm so excited. I love it. <laughs> and yeah, I love the top. I think the top is so pretty. And this is just a steal. It's a steal for $25. <laughs> That's like cheaper than going out to dinner and then you have like a wedding gown. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's take a look at the next one, shall we? Oh, this is so much fun, this is so fun. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna change. Okay, dress number two. This is so much fun. All right, so dress number two here. This dress was from Craigslist and it was $30. The designer, it still has a tag on it. I don't think it's ever been worn. It is Maggie Tang. It does have this bow that like, it seems like maybe the previous owner was going to remove and like started cutting it off and then stopped halfway through so it's kind of just like flopping on there right now. <laughs> if this was going to be my wedding dress, that's definitely something I would need to address because it's just like straight up broken right now. Help me! And the funny thing about this dress is that in my memory this one was my least favorite but now that I have it on again, like, it's a pretty dress. <laughs> like what? This is beautiful! So I've tried this dress on for two different people and had two like vastly different reactions. <laughs> okay, I put it on for my like future mother-in-law who literally almost started crying. She was like, mm. <laughs> and then I tried it on for Jenna, <laughs> who was like, I feel nothing. So that's not great. <laughs> when your twin sees you in a wedding gown, you want them to be like, ah. <laughs> She was like, this dress reminds me of your Pennywise costume. I was like, Jenna, <laughs> no. She was like, I think I'm just so used to seeing you in costumes and like all dressed up. This just feels like another costume to me. I will say I do see where she's coming from on this dress because compared to the other three that I have, this one is by far like 
the cheapest feeling. Like the quality of this dress is not quite up to par with the other three. Like these lacy bits are not as soft. It has like these rhinestones, which like typically I like tops that are like bedazzled and like super intricate and interesting to look at. But these rhinestones, they kind of feel like like craft store rhinestones that have just been like glued on. And like the whole thing all together is just a bit scratchy. It's like it doesn't feel great on my skin. It kind of feels like if I was socializing with my family and friends all night and like dancing and whatever, if I was rubbing my arms against my sides like all night, I feel like this part of my arm would get really irritated just kind of rubbing this sort of scratchy, lacy feeling. Dunno, not great. I also don't really love the collar here. Like, I like how this top is, but if the collar was like a wider neck, like starts lower here and then kind of goes out like that, like it was exactly the same, just wider, I would like it a lot better. But then there's also things that I really do like about this dress as well, like things that when I just put it back on now today, I'm like, this dress is pretty. <laughs> and that is, I really like the sleeves. I like wedding dresses that have little cap sleeves or like long lacy sleeves. I like sleeves on wedding dresses. I also really like how poofy and like big and just like princessy it is. Like I feel like if I spun around, like <sighs> make an entrance. <laughs> And then like all throughout this top layer of the skirt, it has little like, almost like sequins or something, all kind of zigzagged throughout it. That kind of like makes it light up when you spin around or when you move, like it catches the light in a really beautiful way. Zigzaggy like squiggle lines all throughout there, can you guys see that? They look so pretty when the light catches them just right, they're like, woo princess. <laughs> If you can take the bottom of this dress and stick it onto the top of the last dress and make a little Franken dress for what? $55. <laughs> but for me, my final verdict on this one, would it be worth it to me to try to change the neckline? Do whatever you have to do with this bow. <laughs> the scratchiness of the top and like the kind of cheapy lace and the rhinestones and stuff, like I feel like you'd have to strip this whole top down and redo the lacing on it in order for me to be comfortable wearing it because I don't want to spend my whole wedding day like scratching my arms up and being uncomfortable. I want to be comfortable and be uh, feeling gorge and like, you know, you want to be comfy. It's your wedding day. So for this one, as pretty as it is, it is probably a no just based on quality alone, which is what we are trying to work around in this video, getting quality pieces for cheap prices. So yeah, this is hurting my arm. I'm going to go ahead and change it into the next one. Ready? Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this, like, you can see how irritated my arm is right here. It's like where that sleeve was on the other dress and this is where it was on the top. Just from wearing it for like <laughs> five minutes. Like, can you imagine if I was wearing it all day for like a wedding day? Like, my arm would fall off. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. marketplace I was so excited to get this dress you guys because this dress and all of its big long princess glory <laughs> because it is the same brand as my dream dress and it was only $50 so I snagged it up because I wanted to be able to put it to the test like I wanted to be able to wear it around my house I wanted to like check quality comfort like if this like giant tail gets in my way too much am i going to fall over <laughs> like the sizing this one is actually probably like one size too big like it feels a little bit loose i'm considering this dress like the tester dress for my dream dress but ugh, i'm so excited to have a dress that is related to my dream dress my my beautiful beautiful dream dress. I'm not gonna show you what my dream dress is, um, just in case like the off chance that I do end up getting it, but the uh, brand is Maury Lee, and this dress is a Maury Lee dress. <sighs> I love this giant train. I could just walk around 
and make the cat follow me like all day. I love it. I love it. I love it. If I was going to be wearing this um, on my wedding day, it definitely needs a good clean. Like it looks like someone has done that same path that I just did. It's a uh, its tail could use a good. <laughs> a good scrub but i am so excited i love it my inner princess is like <laughs> and a really cool thing about getting second hand on facebook marketplace is that you can put alerts on certain tags or like brands or designers or whatever so like i have a tag on mine for maury lee because dream dress and uh, <laughs> and then so you get a notification that's like maury lee on the cheap cheap and you can go over there and you can swipe it up <laughs> and second hand shopping is the best yes <laughs> and then as far as this not being my dream dress, I don't really care for the top, like the design of the top of this one so much. So this is kind of what I was talking about on the last dress, how I really like bedazzles and rhinestones, but the other ones just looked kind of cheap. I think all of these look really nice and pretty, but I do find this uh, like top part here still kind of on the plainer, like kind of more boring side than I am going for. I want something that's like boo, 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 boo in your face. <laughs> and I am not a super huge fan of the like straight across strapless neckline. If I'm gonna do strapless, I like how the first one that we tried on, the David's Bridal one, has like the little, it's like rounded. Like again, if I could take the top of that David's Bridal dress and stick it on the bottom of this like whoosh dress. Gorgeous. Beautiful. <laughs> I feel like a Disney princess in this. Like it's beautiful. Alright, if I was going to wear this as my wedding dress, how would I change it? I would probably, I would maybe add some kind of straps or like some sort of interesting neckline here and I would bedazzle the fluff out of this top bit. <laughs> Actually, okay, speaking of bedazzled, let me show you this next dress, which is my favorite of the whole bunch because I am so much. <laughs> this dress is a lot. This dress is a lot. Okay, let me try it on for you. I'll be right back. Right back. Oh my god, I almost don't even want to show you guys because I feel like this one has like, <laughs> it is so pretty. I feel like it has some potential to be like a real option. Like what if I wear this on my wedding day? Oh my god. If you thought the last one had a big train, just wait. Okay, here comes your puffy princess cupcake paletti. Isn't it so pretty? <laughs> this dress is huge and it's amazing and it was free i got this for free this is a hand-me-down someone just gave this to my mother-in-law like just like gave it to her and was like do you know anyone getting married and she's like yeah <laughs> and then she gave it to me and like now i have this dress for free and it's like amazing a funny thing about this dress though i had this dress for like six months before i even ever tried it on i had no idea that it was going to be this beautiful and like so pretty when this is just on a hanger it looks like <laughs> the top here is like a tiny little bit sheer it almost looked kind of lingerie-y on the top and then down here like all of this with all of its little like ruffly waffles floofles on the hanger did not look like a good combination at all it looked like bjork goose dress right okay and it's like extremely difficult to get into by yourself so i was like in no rush to try it on <laughs> and then one day i was hanging around and i was like wanting to play dress up and i was like oh yeah that gigantic wedding dress in my studio like let's try it on and i was like holy shit, this dress is the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and it's just been sitting in my house like a lot. <laughs> when I say I like dresses that are extra, this is exactly what I mean. <laughs> like the top, it's rounded here. It's like ultra bedazzly in like a perfect way. The bottom is like, it's huge. It's definitely poofy and princessy. <laughs> it's definitely got that interesting like texture that the first dress was like seriously lacking. This one is like, above and beyond on oh, the interesting texture like I literally thought this was gonna be like a hideous dress and then I put it on and now I'm like I could see it I could see myself getting married in this dress like it's so pretty <laughs> so if I were going to wear this dress to my wedding there's really not that much that I'd want to do to change it like I really love it how it is the only thing there's two like minor little things one is that it's really really heavy so I would probably want to put some sort of little straps in just because it is strapless, it's really heavy, like, I don't want it going anywhere, you know what I mean? <laughs> just a little bit of, like, added, uh, 
hi a little bit of like added like security and also just letting my shoulders bear a little bit more of the weight of this dress it's quite heavy and the only other thing that i would maybe change about it is the back the ribbon here the corseting in the back okay it's not like laced up properly at the minute because i tried getting in this dress by myself which is probably the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life <laughs> but I would try to change this let me show you up close isn't this like a top just so freaking pretty <laughs> like I can't get over it this is exactly what I mean when I say like bedazzled this intricate kind of beadwork I think is so beautiful okay but the back so clearly not laced up right. Like if I were wearing this for real, I would put a much thicker, like silky, like a higher quality ribbon through the corset part rather than just this really skinny little string. I wish this was laced correctly so you could like actually see how it's supposed to fit me, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> but yeah, just the ribbon in the back and maybe some like really dainty little straps. And uh, I think this dress is pretty perfect. Like. I really love it. I feel like it is like an ice cream bubble cupcake princess all mixed into one <laughs> and in like the best way possible. Like I really, really love it. And it was free. Like I can't, I can't get over that. <laughs> I feel like Princess Peach like on a cloud. This is the nicest dress I've ever worn, like ever put on my body. It's like so fancy. <laughs> I feel like a supermodel. I love it. <laughs> I'm not sure who the designer is, so I'll pop up pictures of the tag so you guys can see, because like, whoa, it's yeah, beautiful. This is the first one that I put on that like makes me feel like a bride, you know? Like I'm just, like I'm actually getting married and not just cosplaying someone who's getting married. I'm wearing a wedding costume, you know? Like this dress is so fancy and I feel like a little spoiled princess in my fancy free dress. <laughs> Okay, that is all four of the secondhand wedding dresses that we have today. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. Obviously, this one is my favorite, but everybody has different opinions on dresses, and I can't wait to hear which one you like the best. Thrift store, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, or free hand-me-down. Hopefully, this video gave you ideas. Mostly the point of why I wanted to make a secondhand wedding dress video. Mostly the point of this video was to show you that dresses are not always like what you see is what you get, especially secondhand. Like if you see a dress at a thrift store that, you know, it's not perfect, but you can visualize it as like a base to your dream dress, like it's on the right track, you can make that a reality and save yourself a ton of money while you're at it. Let me know if you did or would wear a secondhand wedding dress to your wedding. Very curious. Me personally, I think secondhand is a great way to not only save a ton of money, but also like, give these amazing, beautiful dresses another life. It's, a, it's such a shame to me to see like these intricate pieces only get to see the light of day one time ever and then never to be worn again. Like it's kind of sad. So I love the idea of recycling, rewearing, reusing wedding dresses. Like yes, yes, I love it. <laughs> I think I will hang on to this one um, just to kind of keep it in the running for the dress. I will be donating the other three back into the secondhand market, back to a bride who is trying to have a beautiful, affordable wedding gown. Honestly, this video just got me so excited to start doing wedding videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did playing dress up in our little, I feel like we just went to like a, uh, like a bridal gown shop together and I'm just like trying it on for all of my besties. <laughs> And thank you so much to Andy Pandy Cosplay for being our featured patron. And thank you Poshmark for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to download the app through the link in the description box. That would be super. Thank you. And let me know if you guys want to see more wedding related videos. We could always do like the shoe, the wedding shoe try on video. And maybe like the shoes that we don't pick, I could put on my Poshmark. Full circle, full circle. Download Poshmark. <laughs> Link in the description. Alright, thanks babe so much for watching. I love you so much. <laughs> I'll see you in our next video. I feel like a little angel. Little angel baby. <laughs> okay, bye guys. I love you so much. See you next time. Mwah!